Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here and welcome to part 10 uh, of Let's Build a Sorority House or Let's Finish a Sorority House, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of these chimneys that are just hanging about. Uh, <laughs> we can definitely get rid of some of those and we better put move objects on to start with. Alrighty, so because move objects is on, we can delete sections of the chimneys. Uh, but we want to keep the chimneys that are actually... I, can't, I kind of want these chimneys to... to... Oh, that's right, because it covered up the window and I didn't like that. So we're just going to get rid of some of them. Uh, like this. If you do like your chimneys there to be more realistic, you can totally keep them uh, if you wish to download the house. But when it covers up windows, sometimes I just like to get rid of them. I don't know if that's weird or what, uh, but that's just how I roll. <laughs> so, okay, moving downwards, whoops. Okay, so that chimney is fine there, but we have some shutters. Should pop onto that window. And I know some of you guys are gonna tell me I forgot these shutters, so I better put that on there as well. Lovely. Oh, not so lovely. That's actually sticking out from the wall. But anyway, I'm so excited that we are up to part 10. That's so cool. Uh, what have we got to go? So we finished downstairs. Uh, we've got Jordan's room to go with the ensuite. There are mixed uh, responses of those who wanted her to have her own bedroom and those who wanted her to share. Because uh, a lot of you felt like Alison should have her own room. But I think Jordan having her own room will be will be good in this instance because uh, she is a character that is more well known than the others. Uh, and then we've got their bathroom here. We need to do something in this area. Uh, let me know what you think should go here. Should there be more lounge chairs? Should there be gym equipment? Uh, or maybe we should put the gym stuff out on the balcony because we need to do the balcony as well. We've got down here and then we've got some outdoorsy stuff to do as well. And then we'll be done. We'll be all done, which is crazy. And I'm very excited to be working on a new series at the moment for you guys. Uh, that'll be, that'll be a hoot. All right, so let's uh, make some changes from the feedback you all left last time. <laughs> One of the biggest feedback uh, topics that was left was Kia's bedroom has no dresser. My bad, I forgot about that. Uh, I knew something was missing, but I couldn't quite put my finger on it. So I think we're going to go with... I mean, this is pretty cool. That's actually really pretty. Or we could go something like... Nah, that looks a bit western. Or I, I don't know what that looks like. I really like this, actually. I think we might use this one. I've always wanted to use it. And maybe we'll put it where the bookshelf was because there's plenty of bookshelves around this house. Uh, actually, we'll grab the other one back again. There we go. And we'll just take that colour over to this wardrobe so it matches the rest of the room. I love how this Duna cover is red and white and then the ottoman is backwards. I really liked what we did there. Uh, I was very happy with that if I don't say myself. Okay, so let's delete that. We'll get this dresser in here so she can get ready in the mornings. <laughs> uh, probably a good thing to be able to put some clothes on. And, hmm, we might, oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to keep all of these little duva lackeys. Uh, well, that one can fit on that side of the bed. This one, could I guess stay on the end of the bed and we might have to get rid of our panther step statue unless we can put it in the corner here next to the TV uh, which which works uh, maybe on this side but we don't want it to intersect into the TV because that's just that's a little bit strange we'll go like that all right oh and Alfie had a good idea and that was to put a shelf here above the desk uh, so we just grab the shelf here and lift it up. Oops. Uh, this, was, this was a nice idea because 
I was struggling with where to put all the camera devices and they looked really shady <laughs> on the bed and he said why don't you put the cameras on the shelf but you know what I don't think they're gonna fit up there which is devastating no Alfie rookie error although it's all good because we can put that camera up there we can put why don't the cameras sit on desks like it's so frustrating <laughs> uh, but you know what we can put on the desk we can put this chick there that's pretty cool uh, and then maybe we can hang the photos off the shelf if we lift the shelf up a little bit we oh I know we can hang the fairy lights off the shelf maybe if we move them out. oh no that's not gonna work Oh hell no! <laughs> uh, okay, let's try it with these then. And a lot of comments surprisingly ask how to move things up and down the wall. You just you just click and hold the mouse, and you can move them up and down. Uh, if you didn't know that, that's how it works. Okay, so we'll just hang a few things like this, maybe, kind of under the desk. Uh, we might put this candle up on the shelf and, 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 what else can we put up there? Hmm. Uh, what, what would Kia like in a room that's decorative? Oh, and I have very exciting news. Uh, some of you may know that I have all the expansion and stuff packs, but I never was able to get my hands on Katy Perry sweet treats. And it was such a sad crisis because I could never finish my my whole set of The Sims 3. But I was very lucky because someone actually brought back the sweet treats from the US for me. Uh, thank you, James from The Sims Supply. So now I got to finish off uh, all the expansions and stuff packs. So that's pretty cool uh, and very exciting. Actually, a lot of you guys have said there's not enough red in this room. So I'm looking really forward to using Katy Perry sweet treats. Uh, for a for a, for a special build, I think uh, it's going to be a bit of a challenge, but a lot of fun nonetheless. So keep an eye out for that. Okay, cool. All right, nice. So there's a bit more red in the room. Uh, awesome. Okay, so moving onwards. Uh, <laughs> there was a lot of you saying that this joint room was. Uh, a little bit unfair in how it was separated. Uh, Allison's side of the room was very spacious in comparison to... Uh, oh my god, I forgot her name. Kia's, Kia's side of the room. So we're going to even it out a little bit. Uh, make it a little bit more fair. Go like that. Lovely. Uh, actually... I'm thinking if we do take away this, is it possible to arrange the posters so they look like they've been, I guess, pinned onto the back of this? How far do we need to move this across? Hmm. I mean, we could just move the shelf. Oh yeah, that works. I think that works. Uh, yeah, so we can actually put posters on the back of here, because a lot of you were also saying that you thought Kia wasn't as girly as we made this side of the room, because she's more sporty. Uh, but I was thinking of her character as being more a sporty girly girl. Uh, but we can definitely make her a little less girly. That's that's no problem. Uh, so we can kind of open up this side of the room. Uh, she's got all her gym bits and bobs. Uh, maybe we could change her dinner to blue. Uh, that was an idea someone had, so we can do that. And also, uh, I think it was Princess Pudgy, Lovely, Lush, Leela, and Geo? Geo? Geo, I think? Or oh, there, there were a few of you who said uh, these roses, because I asked if you guys thought those roses were way too much, because I was a bit unsure. But you three and maybe a few others said to overlap the rose over the rose painting we had originally, which I think is quite a good idea. So uh, we're going to do that in a second. 
Uh, see if you will change this light to something more yellowy. Actually, you know what? I feel like putting a pattern in here. Let's let's go all out and get a nice pattern. Uh, I love this pattern. This is gonna be this is this is gonna be one of my favorites. This is one of my favorite patterns. Uh, it's just it's just a classic geometric pattern for me in The Sims 3. I'm already missing creative style in The Sims 4. I I'm it's gonna be so weird without it. But you know what? We'll make do. We'll make do with whatever we have. Uh, and I gotta say, I'm so excited for The Sims 4. It is so close now. Like less than a month at this point. What's today? August the 5th, 2014? Oh damn, we are so close to Sims 4 in it. Yay. Uh, hmm, I don't, I don't really like this. I don't like it. There's too much blue now. Oh, that was kind of cute. Maybe we can keep it like that. It's hard because this room is very, very pinky. Could we make it a more mauvey colour? Possibly. Whoa, that's a little, a little keen. Although I like the idea of pink or maybe peachy colour. Yeah. Nah, I... Let's just leave it how it was. Uh, it kind of works. Although this antique rose colour is quite nice. Maybe we maybe we should keep it that way. Yeah. I mean the bedrooms we want them to still be oh, I it's hard to explain this, but I guess I want them to be like they can't be too perfectly matching because they're not gonna repaint this sorority house every time someone moves in. Uh, to suit all of their furnishings. So we want it to be a little bit off. If you get what I mean. Oh, we can't move these up and down the wall. We'll just put them above the bed like that. Uh, so yeah, I don't I don't mind if they're a little bit... The colours are slightly off or whatever. Because we don't want it to be too perfect. Uh, it's meant to look very lived in. Oh, we need to get a table tennis table at some point. Uh, let's just whack that down there. Okay, so, uh, she needs something else in this corner. Maybe a pot plant would be kind of cool. Pot plant. Oh, wasn't there a bean bag that looked like a soccer ball, or am I making that up? Is there a soccer ball bean bag? Uh, I don't think there is, actually. I think I'm off my chops. Yeah, no. This is fun, though. But it's not going to fit, and it's kind of not quite right. Alright, let's get a pot plant in here. Maybe something like this. Too big? Yeah, that's way too big. Uh, we'll put that there. Put this there. So she has a little bit of... A uh, little bit of foliage in her room. Alrighty. Maybe make that. Uh, darker blue color. All right, and maybe we can move her lights that were over here on the back of this. I don't think they're gonna fit properly, do they? No. Nope, not quite right. Uh, some of you guys were saying, why would she have a dancer trophy? if she's athletic, but athletic people can be very, very good dancers as well. I think they go hand in hand, personally, but I don't know. I was surprised by those comments. Because, <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. Everyone's got different perceptions, I guess, of these things, uh, which makes it very interesting. But of course, each to their own, each to their own. Uh, I love receiving comments like that because I don't know. I, I learn a lot from you guys. <laughs> uh, let's mm, pop it like that. Maybe oh, we need more posters on here. I want more posters. 
uh, miscellaneous decor. Someone said the team poster was in here. Ooh, I like this one. You want it really sporty looking. Uh, yeah, one of you guys said there is a team photograph in miscellaneous. Here it is. Awesome. That's what I was looking for last time. Uh, question is now, where can we fit it? I guess we'll pop it over there. Perfect. So she has a favorite sports team up on the wall. And her jersey. Ugh. Damn it. Running out of room so badly right now. Um, can we move that down so it's kind of like she didn't quite hang it up on the wall and it's just sitting there? Uh, I don't mind that idea. Yeah, cool. All right, so we'll move that column over here. Hmm, it's not quite sitting into the shelf properly, is it? So we'll maybe... Pop it like that. Still looks weird. Like this? Should you still get around that? Okay, we'll go like this. Uh, oh yeah, and then we mustn't forget to fix up Alison's side of the room, so we'll put in these fairy lights over here. Why do the fairy lights look funky right now? Oh, because we've moved the shelf, they're not gonna work. Rats. Well, we'll get rid of one of those. I feel like Alison still needs fairy lights in her room, or in her side of the room, rather. Uh, spin these around and lift them over her vanity, maybe. Like that. All right, and we'll get rid of this. Will this still fit in the corner? Just. Uh, and we'll get that rose painting we had originally. This rose, oh, sweet treats painting. Nice. <laughs> uh, originally, yeah, this is the one we used. And I mean, that does look, look kind of cool. It's different, uh, but I like that. I like how it crosses over. It doesn't glitch out when you turn, so that's a good thing. And yeah, we'll, we'll make it more of a musky pinky color. Uh, could go yellow. Ugh. Mm, how about no? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, so this painting, what I was saying was it came from the Sims 3 store. Used it quite a lot. Although I liked how it tied in with the red in this painting. That's, I think, I don't mind that. So we're going to keep it. And it goes with the Audrey painting there. All right, so that's their room done. Uh, it's more fair in space, it's less cramped, although Alison gets a lot more room uh, because that's Alison for you. <laughs> uh, but also the other reason is because if we wanted those posters to sit on the back of this, uh, we had to place it there. So I think that works quite nicely. Okay, for the bathroom. Uh, all right, so they're going to need to have these toilets probably, unless we want to make little toilet rooms, but we're gonna make little shower rooms. So I say we just go with these and preferably not intersecting with the door <laughs> into the place. Uh, okay, so let's see. how many toilets would they need? Well, they don't need a toilet each. Maybe they just need two because there's two en suites. Three or two? Two's probably enough. I think two would be enough. Uh, and then you want to put in some shower rooms. Uh, okay. So, hmm. I've never had to do a shared bathroom like this before, so that's going to be interesting. Oh, why do I have those again? These apparently are really bad to have in your game. They're Arezzo bathroom counters. That's from custom content sneaking into my game. Uh, so I better get rid of those because uh, I do not like that in my game. Let's pop uh, what kind of counters. I I'm tempted to use the Into the Future ones because I do like those. 
Oh no, we better go old school because this bathroom's probably been around for a while. So we have, we could go really long. No, I don't think we should go that far. I like the idea of there being two basins here. Put one there, one there. Although if they're all getting ready to go out one night, they're going to need a lot more counter space. Maybe we should go with an L-shaped counter. Okay. Something like that. And if we put mirrors all along the backing here, that could, that could work. Kind of like that, I guess. And Oh, maybe we do need one more extra toilet. So we've got that corner and then for showers we need to make some shower room space. So we could have one there. I mean, oh, that is very, very squishy. Very squishy indeed. <laughs> or we could put the toilets in here. This is gonna take a little bit of experimenting. Is that weird to have them like this? And maybe have one here? I don't know. I don't know if that's... I like this L-shaped area. And then maybe they could have something over here like a... I don't know. Unless we move this door, ah, uh, there we go. So we'll move the door across. And then we've got two shower room areas. So we need to put a couple of extra doors in here. Like that, although it's really squishy. Hmm. That, uh, unless we just move the sink across, that's not too bad. There's the two shower doors. We have showers in here, and then we can use the public shower. Oh, that came with the dance studio. Maybe in here. Or we can go the normal showers. Oops, we need some more coinage. Oh, we can maybe put the showers in this. By the way, of course, I'm going to change all the colors of this in a second. Uh, nobody freak out. Uh, and then they could have a little seat in the corner. I think that works. I think that'll work. The question is, what do we put over here? I might end this part right here, you guys. Uh, let me know what you think of this orientation of the bathroom. I don't mind it. I think it's, I think it works okay. Uh, but I don't know whether we put like a chaise lounge in here or we put, I don't know, some clothes racks or something like that uh but yeah we'll change all of the colors obviously of all of this and yeah just let me know what you think thank you so much for watching and i hope you're having a lovely morning afternoon or evening wherever you are and i'll speak to you soon bye